twa, twa, twa. It do not matter. Clip on the ruga, look like a ruler. Okay, so I'm back, and before the video start, it's greatly appreciated when you interact. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay. All right. So first, there's a trigger warning. Um, one of the topics are about getting drugged and stuff like that. So if that triggers you, please don't watch this video. Next, we have Tommy. So I don't know if y'all know, but Tommy, she has a network coming out, and she just had auditions for whatever show she's doing on it. There are a few people saying that production, Tommy's production, spiked their drinks with shrooms. Shrooms. Also demanded a lot of typing, so like there's a lot of reading to do. So he said, I was a silent victim once and I won't be silent about this again. When I was 18, I had some people act over my friends spiked my drink. At that time I was young, I felt so embarrassed. I had to let that happen to myself. I stayed quiet and always evaluate my situations fast forward to friday night tommy had a casting audition for her new show who's next i went to the show to audition when i arrived i seen it wasn't my style but there was amazing talent here i was offered a seat in the theater to enjoy the show with the rest of the audience 20 minutes after her production team is coming out past everyone's shots of patron about 30 to 45 minutes after those shots many people in the theater started to feel hot or like they was going to pass out. I then became one of them. Instead of finishing the show, I left because I started to feel like I was going to pass out. I got in my car and tried to drive home and immediately start hallucinating. My vision was super blurry and everything had a green tint to it. I keep thinking in my head, OMG, why do I feel like this? Am I going to die? I finally pulled over safely at a 76 gas station because I knew for a fact if I was going to go on the freeway, I may crash. And lose my life because my mind was everywhere and the lines in the road were moving. Ooh, child. Um, I finally got a hold of my sister to pick me up because I know something was wrong and I was questioning reality, hyperventilating, etc. I just needed to be somewhere safe so I could think about the night and what I did differently. And then it dawned on me, uh, the only thing I did was have a little shot from her production team. This was a very traumatic experience for me. I almost lost my life running in the streets in between cars because I didn't know what was going on. Uh, I tried to reach out to her to see if others may have been affected as well. Never did I blame her because her team gave the shots, but for one, that was never my get down. She then tries to victimize me and make me feel embarrassed for accepting the drink from her team. That's like going to a concert and the production team is giving out shots. You're not thinking the drink is spiked. Y'all was wrong as fuck and that's all I'm saying. Then he posted some of the messages between him and Tommy. He said, I think someone tried to drug me at your auditions last night after those shots. I started feeling weird. I don't know. Tommy said, nobody tried to drug you. If you took what they offered you, love, since you see me taking anything from anyone, we're grown, know what you're taking. I didn't know anyone there outside of my team, and none of us will never. It was a dry set for a reason. Uh, But learn from this in the future. Stop taking, stop taking any of everything you're offered. It could cost you your life. Glad you're okay. Now, when I first read the messages, I'm like, what the fuck, Tommy? This man is saying one, somebody on your team drugged him. Now, in the messages, he did not say somebody on her production team drugged him. He just said somebody. In the video, he said somebody from the production team. So, the man posted some screenshots from Tommy's story, but then there's some screenshots that don't have her name. So, I don't know for sure if this is her, is this, if this is what she said or not, okay? So, it says, Tommy, seven hours ago. Like, really, though? Let's be for real. Then she said, none of my friends have ever said, let's try crack. I don't know who y'all be around, okay? Uh, they said, as an adult, you have to take accountability for things you do uh, that could have been avoided. So stop looking for someone to place blame on and start with yourself. We're human. Shit happens. Own up. I've been through things in life so no one can play me into taking anything I don't want or don't know what it is. It's way too much uh, going on out here to be playing around. I'm gifted things all the time so I indulge in everything I'm offered. Hell no. Then he put up this chart for dilated pupils and, you know, stuff like that. And he showed his eyes. It do look dilated. Um, yeah, that's it. Oh, no, no, no. He said this as well. So he posted some comments saying, uh, they made multiple announcements advertising the shroom drinks. They gave us all an option. Many of us said no or gave him the drinks back. He responded with, girl, I don't know if you just start hungry and want to be on the show bad. But when I was there, I was told the shots of Patron, so stop. But thanks for confirming there were drugs involved. The man also said that explains the PC... PCP? He... What? My bad. He said that explains the PCP in my system. Thanks for confirming there were drugs involved. No one ever said anything about drugs or shrooms. I was told by production numerous times it's a Patron shot. Uh, I would have never participated in the drinks I had known. Uh, I had to drive after it almost lost my life. Thanks for confirming there were drugs in those drinks. 
He posted someone else's comments. The girl said, babe, can you DM me? I got drugged too. I was at her auditions. I was hoping to find people that were there too that got drugged. She said, I need to talk to you. Please message me. The man said, those shots were never announced as nothing other than Patron. Then it says, so glad I'm not the only one. Other people are able to get home safely. Someone said, hey, boo, I was there too. Then she gave the number and said, you're not crazy or lying. Someone else was messaging him. They said, hey, I was there that night of the casting. Can I text you with your number? Thank God I found someone. I've been trying to find people that were there. I was drugs. They didn't tell me anything except that was alcohol. And then he said, what well, production team lies about giving, about shots they're giving? He also said drugs like this are not a game. Some people don't come back mentally sane from. Uh, so glad this didn't turn fatal and God was with everyone. I mean, she posted some girl talking about the situation. The girl, I'm guessing she was there. She was like, Tommy and her production only gave out Patron shots and water. Then it was the man. He's ba he's basically claiming that, yeah, I had the drinks. I gave the drinks out. Apparently, he have a business with drinks and mushrooms or some shit. He said himself that he said, do y'all even want drinks or mushrooms? And then when he gave the shots out, some of them had mushrooms in it. And girls was passing them around and said he ain't had nothing to do with that. Crazy because everybody wants to blame Tommy for somebody in production, this, that, and the third. But if we're being technical, the nigga who was passing out those drinks auditioned too. He was trying to get his product out there. He was not production. He was never a part of the production team. So all of that shit. I was drinking and taking were samples. The only thing that production from Tommy's team ever passed out was Patron and water. And they went and bought that shit. So I'm trying to figure out how the blame is being put on somebody else. And then a nigga made a video and said. Hold on, y'all. Hold on one second now. Let me tell y'all something. You can ask any girl that was there. I said, do you want mushrooms or liquor and then other girls start trading drinks with other girls and that ain't got nothing to do with me so fuck y'all okay y'all i don't know what's really going on but i see a lot of shit is going on about tommy i guess everybody's being drugged or we were drugged at her auditions nobody was drugged at her auditions there weren't drugs involved at all no type of drink and PCP and all that. It was none of that being involved. Tommy stayed in one seat the whole time at her auditions. She did not get up not once. The only time she got up was to get on stage. And that was to talk and let us know how she wanted us to do these auditions. Other than that, y'all need to stop playing on my girl top because she was being very respectful. She never drugged anybody. I was there. I was really a person there. I auditioned and I got my ticket. So I just want to get on here and really have her back because nobody was drugged. And yes, drinks were being passed out, but they also said what the drinks were. And even I had a drink and it was a shot of tequila. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, well, the drinks that was being passed around, after you seen the drinks being passed around, did you make it known to the people like, hey, once again, some of these drinks got shrooms in it. Did you do that or it just had nothing to do with it? But I'm so confused. The girls that was there that got a shroom drink and decided to trade with other people. Did y'all make it known that some of these drinks got shrooms in it? The man that had the alcohol infused with shrooms or whatever, he's not on Tommy production. Uh, Tommy, I'm assuming that you knew he was there passing out stuff like that. I don't think you should have allowed that at that at your event, bro. I know they grown and I know he said it. I don't know how many times he said it or if he made sure everyone knew he said it. I don't think you should have allowed those drinks at your shit, right? Because now your name is involved and you probably didn't even do it. But the man who's saying that he got drugged is saying he was not aware of the sh Yeah. Then you got people saying this man is Jocelyn's friend and they think Tommy did it to him on purpose. Apparently they seen him on Jocelyn's show before on Zeus. So now you got people dragging Jocelyn into it. You got people dragging Zeus into it, bro. This, this, I don't know if this shit gonna end well, bro. But these was auditions, and I'm pretty sure the whole thing was recorded because, like, you know, they're picking cats. I'm pretty sure shit was recorded. So if this shit do end up going to court and stuff like that, child, I, I hope you've recorded everything and you're and you're innocent. Now, for the people who are saying that they are drugged and they did not know that the, the contents were in this alcohol and stuff like that, um, when he said a lot of people do not come back mentally from it, that shit is true. That shit could kill you. That shit could mess up your brain. That shit could mess up your body. That, that stuff really do be taking a toll on people. A bad toll and sometimes permanent. I don't see this ending pretty. I really do hope everyone is telling the truth because if they not, this shit is going to end bad. Well, honestly, if the people if the people who got drugged are telling the truth, this shit gonna end bad regardless. Cause like that's some that's some crazy shit though.
All right, but that's it for this video. So if you found it interesting, and I hope you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications on. Thank you.